This is Info Live TV headline news, May 29th. I'm Daniel Ben Nun. Attorney General Menachem Mazuz announced on Thursday that the investigation into Prime Minister Ehud Olmert's involvement with American businessman Morris Delansky would be separated from the other ongoing investigations against him. The Prime Minister is currently involved in four investigations. The first looking into his conduct when he was trade, labor, and industry minister. The second examining his involvement in a recent corruption allegation in the Israeli tax authority. The third probing a possible illicit bid on Jerusalem real estate. And the fourth probing a sale of core holdings in Bank Leoumi. In a report published by the Washington Post on Thursday, the U.S. is said to be appealing to the United Nations to send inspectors to search for hidden nuclear facilities in Syria. According to the report, the Bush administration suspects that Syria is hiding at least three sites which they believe were intended to support a nuclear reactor that was destroyed by Israel in September. U.S. government officials have declined to describe the specific sites that have drawn attention or discussed how they were identified. Labor Chairman and Defense Minister Ehud Barak received the full backing of his party's cabinet ministers on Thursday morning, less than a day after he called on Prime Minister Ehud Olmert to step down from office following the deposition of Morris Delansky. Though Barak publicly voiced his support for taking measures to stabilize the coalition by having Kadima elect a successor to Olmert from within, the ministers believe the momentum is building for national elections. Internal Security Minister Avi Dichter announced on Thursday that he intends to run in the internal elections to replace Prime Minister Ehud Olmert as chairman of Kadima. At the press conference in Jerusalem, Dichter said that whatever happens, Kadima will be the party to build the next government. He added that in Israel, there can be no such thing as a part-time prime minister. In our situation, Olmert and the government will eventually have to sit down and figure things out. A Qassam rocket fired from the Gaza Strip hit a house in the Shahr Negev region on Thursday afternoon. The residents were not at home at the time of the impact, and although the rocket failed to explode, the exterior of the house was damaged. In response to the attack, the IDF arrested 60 Palestinian terrorist suspects in an operation in northern Gaza. The U.S. dollar registered a 0.95 percent drop on Thursday morning and is currently being traded at a rate of 3.256 shekels, the lowest since January 1997. The euro also dropped 1.7 percent to 5.069 shekels, the lowest since September 2003. Meanwhile, gasoline prices are expected to increase by 2 percent on Saturday night. For the latest in sports news, please tune in to our daily sports update at InfoLive TV. Thank you for watching InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television network that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.